Welcome back to Tenorshare everyone. Today I will show you guys the most detailed guide about how to fix iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode, and why iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode within a few minutes. Make sure you watch the whole video to prevent the situation from happening again or when it happens again, you know how to handle it. Without further words, let's go. Why is your iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode? There are several reasons why an iPad or iPhone could be stuck in recovery mode, but the two main reasons are software issues and hardware issues. Software issues include software updates or restore processes that weren't fully completed, jailbreaking attempts, corrupted or virus software, or issues with the iTunes software itself. Hardware issue mainly is hardware components are damaged. These issues can prevent the iPad and iPhone from functioning properly and can cause the device to become stuck in recovery mode. The solution to fix this problem would depend on the specific reason behind it. For example, if your iPad and iPhone are stuck in recovery mode after you drop them to the floor or water, then it is the hardware issues causing them stuck in recovery mode. The best way to deal with this situation is to find someone who can fix iPhone or go straight to the Apple Store. I recommend you go to the Apple Store to look for help. As for software issues, no matter what kind of software issue situations cause your iPad or iPhone stuck in recovery mode, just follow me step by step to fix the issue. First method, hard reset your iPad and iPhone, no data loss. For iPhone 6 and older models, press and hold both the power button and the home button at the same time. Wait until the Apple logo appears, then you had completed the hard reset. For iPhone 7 or 7 Plus models, press and hold both the volume down and power button at the same time. Wait until the Apple logo appears, then you had completed the hard reset. For iPhone 8 and later models, press the volume up and quickly press the volume down then press and hold the power button. Wait until the Apple logo appears, then you completed the hard reset iPhone. For iPad with a home button, Press and hold both the power button and the home button. Keep holding till the Apple logo shows up. For iPad without a home button, press the volume up and press the volume down, and then press and hold the power button. Keep holding till the Apple logo shows up. Then you completed the hard reset iPad. If after the hard reset process, your iPad or iPhone still goes back to the recovery mode like this, then we need to use a PC or Mac to update or repair your iPad and iPhone now. Second method, fix iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode with reiBoot one click. This is an iOS and iPadOS system repair tool. It can fix more than 150 iOS and iPadOS issues and contain a one click enter exit recovery mode free function. Let's try this first. Check out the download link in the description and install it. Once installed Reiboot, connect your iPad or iPhone to your PC or Mac and open Reiboot. Click the Exit Recovery Mode option. Just one second, when you can see, my iPad and iPhone are out of recovery mode now. It's very efficient and convenient. I can access my device without any problem now. Go try it. If this function still cannot save your iPad and iPhone, then we should repair and update it. Third method, fix iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode with Reiboot Repair. Still connect your iPad or iPhone to Reiboot. Click the Start button this time. Choose Standard Repair here. Here need to download firmware to repair the issue. Click it. The download won't be long, depending on your network condition. Once the download is OK, click the Start Standard Repair option. This process will take a while. Be patient and relaxed. It will be OK soon. Then you can see, my iPad and iPhone are back to their normal state. I can access it without any problem, and all my data are still there. Go try it! Now let me show you how to do it in iTunes or Finder. Fourth method, fix iPad and iPhone stuck in recovery mode with iTunes or Finder. iTunes and Finder are the same things, 
So here I will use iTunes as an, an example. Connect your iPad or iPhone to it. Then open iTunes or Finder. You should see it pop up a window. Choose Update here. Then iTunes or Finder will begin to download firmware. Once the firmware is OK, it will start to update your iPad or iPhone. Because these two processes take me a long, long time, so I will skip it. Now you can see my iPad and iPhone is in the normal state again. If all the methods above still cannot fix the issue, then we only can use the final method. This method will erase all your iPad or iPhone data. Hope you got backup. All you need to do is choose Deep Repair and Reiboot. Choose Restore in iTunes or Finder. Then the rest process is basically the same. Due to the time reason, I will not show you guys the whole process. Hope you guys don't need to use this method. Okay, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have the chance, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.